Hello, everyone. Good afternoon. Good afternoon, teacher. Good afternoon. Okay. How are you? How was your weekend? Fine, teacher. Fine. It was fine. It was good. I make homework. <laughs> oh, you did homework. Okay. But that's good because it means that you are responsible. Okay, people, it's one o'clock. It's time for our class to start. But first, I'm going to take the attendance. It's Monday, September 12th. So please say present or here, okay? Let's start with Daniel Quintanilla. Okay. Daniela Magali Asensio. Daniela Magali. Okay, I think she wrote to me that she was sick. Delmi Areli Oliva. Present. Thank you. Okay, what about Esmeralda Elizabeth Oliva? Eh, Gabriela Abigail Arriaza. Not here. Jacqueline Vanessa Sura. Present teacher. Okay, thank you, Jacqueline. Jocelyn Gabriela. <coughs> Jocelyn Gabriela Martinez. No? Okay, Jonathan Vladimir Salinas. Here. Okay, thank you, Jonathan. Jose Vidal Vasquez. Present. Thank you, Vidal. Karen Elizabeth Garcia Carpio. Present. Thank you. Catherine Yasmin Guatemala. Present. Margarita Elizabeth. Margarita de Okay, Margarita Lisa del Panameño. Present. Thank you. Mayra Areli Méndez. Present. Thank you. <clears throat> okay. Nimian Elizabeth León. Victoria Ingrid Leal. Present teacher. Nancy Melanie. Present. Jeremy Lisbeth Lopez. Okay. Present, teacher. Thank you, Jeremy. Daniel Quintanilla. Here, present, coach. Okay. Esmeralda Elizabeth. Gabriela Abigail. Present, teacher. Okay, Jocelyn Gabriela Martinez. Present teacher. Okay. And Nimi and Elizabeth? No? Okay. Thank you everybody for being on time for your English class. Okay. So let's see. Um, in today's class, let's see what we have for today. Okay. Today's topic is, what's your schedule like? A schedule refers to days of the week and times in which you do different activities. So we are going to talk about that in this class. And today is Monday, September 12th, 2022. Almost vacation, almost the half of the month, okay? And this is class number five. Lesson objectives. By the end of this class, you will develop skills in predicting, scanning, and sequencing events after reading and discussing three interviews about discussions. By the end of this class, you will learn vocabulary for talking about places in houses and apartments. So it's more about vocabulary. 
First, we're gonna have the activity number one in our agenda, which is recalling previous class or review of the previous class. Then the topic, what's your schedule like? Uh, activity two, house and apartment vocabulary. Activity three, describing my house. Activity four, wrap up. So let's get started with the first activity. What's your schedule like? It's the what's your routine? So I, would, I will send you to break rooms and I need you to talk about this, okay? Speak, what's your schedule like? And you will say something like this. I get up at 5 a.m. but I have breakfast at 6.30 a.m. I take a shower before I have breakfast. I start work at 7 a.m. I have lunch at 12 p.m. After lunch, I take a nap of 10 minutes. Then I go to brush my teeth and I return to work, for example. I leave work at 5 p.m. I get home at 6 p.m. Then I take a shower. I prepare my dinner. I have dinner with my husband, etc., etc. So I want you to talk about that. This other question is, how do you go to work? This is to practice information questions what time do you do your homework what time do you usually do your homework what do you do after the english class and what time do you go to bed so those are the questions that i would like you to practice with your classmates is it clear do you have any questions about the questions or is it everything clear so far so good Okay, <laughs> great. So I will send you in uh, small groups. Okay. If you have any problems, you can uh, ask me for help. You know, there is a button, it says help. Okay. Next work. I eat. I may apparece. I I watch TV uh, before English class, for example. It's, it's correct, teacher. Yes. Okay. <laughs> no la está muteada. <laughs> Thank you. So before <laughs> class, antes de la clase, you have you watch TV. Yes. Okay, uh, there is a group that needs my help. Okay, so, but it was good to see you. <laughs> Telefono. Hello, Nina, Mayra, and Jacqueline. Oh, hello, hello. hello. <laughs> In Spanish, estamos en Narnia. <laughs> Why? <laughs> Eh, porque cuando usted estaba explicando, solo salía la primera diapositiva, que era la de los objetivos. Ah, 
Entonces no logramos ver las preguntas. Really? I didn't know that. Okay, my WhatsApp is loading in this moment. My web. Or let me see if I can send you questions in another. Okay. Pero sí, el WhatsApp puede ser, las esperamos. Gracias. You're welcome. Thank you for telling me. I didn't know. But in this moment, you will. Okay, thank you. You're welcome. There you go. Hoy sí. Ajá, esas, esas son las preguntas. Este, supuestamente dice como que recordar la clase previa uh -huh. eh, es, ¿cuál y es practicar el horario cuál es sí. el horario entonces ¿Cuál? la práctica que vamos a hacer son las tres preguntas que están abajo how do you go to work what time do you do your homework las cuatro preguntas the four questions oh yeah. Ah, Desde las cuatro, ok, ok. Yes. Ah, me aparece. Actually, I, there are more. There are five questions. Se me quedó una. There are five questions. Ok, please practice. Ok, thank you. How do you want to work? Ay, me salió otra. Ok. Bueno, <risa> prácticamente es la rutina, no, la rutina, ¿verdad? Es su rutina. La primera. Pero la primera que, o sea, lo que sí, hacemos bueno. en, a esa hora. ¿Tienen? Ya la quito, ya la quito, ya la quito. Okay. Do you do your homework? Okay, Jesse and Jocelyn, how are you? How how is your practice going? Sí, es que no las habíamos no las habíamos visto, pero eh, medio nos hemos estado contestando ahorita las las preguntas. Questions, good. En 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 respuesta de how do you go, how do you go to work? Uh, I am uh, I don't I don't work. Ah, uh, okay. You can say uh -huh. I don't work. Uh -huh. so I don't go to work. <laughs> eh, y la de homework eh, in the morning. Exactly. You can say well I do my homework in the morning. Mm -hmm. Well. Well, dijo verdad. Ah, yes, you can say well, or, yeah, it's like, <laughs> okay. a word, a phrase. Hey, girls, I will check another group. I start on work. A ver qué dice. Bye, bye, bye. Está bien. Hello, Daniela. Hello, Margarita and Jeremy. Hello. I send Hello, teachers. Hi. I send the questions in the WhatsApp group. Um, teacher, disculpe, pero es que. Um, Se, bueno, es, me está fallando el inter, entonces no le escuchaba, no le escuché muy bien cuando dio las indicaciones de lo que íbamos a hacer. Ok, I understand. Um, eh, yes, what happens is that I sent the questions that you have to eh, ask and answer with your partner. Les mandé las preguntas ahorita en el WhatsApp. Ahorita, ajá. Uh -huh. you have them. Y nosotras nos vamos a responder las preguntas. Uh -huh. Yes. Oh. Okay, sí. 
Yes, you will practice the questions with your partner. Estas cuatro preguntas son las que vamos a contestar nosotros según lo que hacemos o en qué hora la hacemos. Yes. Ok. La, la, normal lo que la, nosotros como la mencionamos Ajá. entonces yo así 30. 30 pasan de las o media hora de pasa la, de, la, de las 4 de las 4, siga y also I get ready to ay aquí ya ni entiendo lo que puse <risa> <risa> ya ni entiendo que, que garabato puse aquí SOS teacher <risa> sí <risa> Aquí no entiendo, quiero que la voy a traducir porque no sé qué quise poner aquí. Eh, toma el desayuno. Ay, ay, ay. Eh, de ahí puse, I go to work in my car at five o'clock. Uh -huh. First of all, I have a breakfast at four to seven. I receive my tour at four past seven. Between age and... Hello, Kari. How are you? Oh, hola, teacher. Me saca de clase. Es que no ando bien en internet. Ah, okay. So maybe it's because you are in the... In the room, sometimes that happens. Okay. And, well, um, can you tell me... How do you go to work? Do you work? Do you work, Karen? Mm, I do not work. Ah, okay. Mm -hmm. And can you tell me after English class? After English. ¿Qué hago después de clase? Yes. Uh, I am free the afternoon. You have a free afternoon. Sí. Wow. I wish I could have a free afternoon. <laughs> <laughs> okay. And what time do you go to bed? What time do you go to bed to sleep? What time? Es que le escucho, le escucho cortado. Oh, really? Okay, my question is, what time do you go to bed? Can you hear me now? Hi. Maybe we are having internet connection problems. Okay, we have to come back. Yes. Todo ese, ¿verdad? Para que lo tenga. Ajá. Ajá. Bye. Okay, bye. Mi comida. Okay, so I need some volunteers to share with the class uh, the answers to the questions. I would like a volunteer. Can you hear me well? Hello, good afternoon. Hello, teacher. Okay, then me. Uh, aquí está. Okay, then me. Please share with us um, the answer to the first question. What's your schedule like? 
Tell me. What's your schedule like? I get up at 5 o'clock a.m. I have. I don't know, but we hear a big noise. I don't know if you can fix that, but we hear an, a very important noise over there. Hello? Siempre se escucha. Pase a su micrófono o está muy cerca de él. ¿Y ahora? Ahora no. Bueno. What's your... ¿Cómo dijo esta palabra, Ticha? Schedule. What's your schedule like? I get up at 5 o'clock a.m. I have breakfast at 6. ¿Cómo se dice? 30. 30. 6.30. Así. Yes. A.m. I start work. At seven o'clock, I have lunch at twelve. Oh, sería así? Yes, twelve p.m. Thank you. Now, can you tell me about your information, your schedule? Because that was my example. Now, your example. Or maybe somebody else, somebody else. Hi, teacher. Okay, thank you. Mm -hmm. eh, solo que tengo problemas con el, me la puede repetir la palabra, es show, es, es así, es show. Es que, es que, show, es, es que show. Schedule. Yes, schedule. Schedule. <clears throat> okay. Uh, what's your schedule like? I get up at 6 a.m. I have breakfast at uh, 7 a.m. I start work at uh, 8 o'clock and at half lunch at uh, 2 p.m. Yes? After class. After class, yes. Yeah. Well, then, then we're with hunger, so I'm so hungry. <laughs> Todo sea por el inglés. <laughs> now okay. I, need, I need somebody else. Volunteer to answer the question number two. How do you go to work? Let's see, someone, only one. Daniel, how do you go to work, Daniel? Hello, coach. Yeah. The question is, how do you go to work? Do you drive a car? Do you ride a motorcycle? Um, do uh, I go to work in my car. Okay, so my car. you drive your car. My car. My car. My car. Thank you. Jocelyn, what time do you do your homework? In the afternoon. Okay, I do my homework in the afternoon. Thank you. Um, Victoria, what do you do after class? After English class, what do you do? I do the homework. I am uh, a, a children, my children. I have my children. Um, cuido de ellas, no sé cómo se dice. Oh, take care. I take, I, I take care of my children. 
I take, uh, okay. It's in the chat. I take care of my children. Okay, thank you. And the last question, what time do you go to bed, Jancy? What time do you go to bed, Jancy? 9 o'clock. Okay, you go to bed at 9 o'clock. Very nice. Okay, thank you for this. And let's, now I would like that together we can uh, solve an exercise with WH questions, okay? We studied the WH questions and yes, no questions last, uh, last, Friday, last Thursday. Can you see the exercise? WH questions we do and that's, yes? Yeah? Tell me, yes or no, please. Yes, yes. Thank you, Jonathan. Okay, so look here, the example. Make questions from the cues using do or does. Look at the example where you live. So we know that the subject is you. So what am I going to use, do or does? Do. Do, exactly. Do. Subject is you, second person. So, is it, so the question would be, where do you live? Where do you live? Where do you live? Now, number one, it says how you go to school. What is the correct structure of the question? How do you go to school? Exactly. How do you how do you go to school? Great. Uh, se dice signo de interrogación? Question mark. Question mark. Yes, thank you. Where he works. So here, what will I? Where does he work? He work? Where does he work? He work. Does he question work? mark. And the question. Okay, number three. Question, 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 question. When? So, when do class? Do class? Do? When do class? Is it? When do class? Yes. It does for sir. When does, because class is something that is singular, it's singular and it's third person. So when does class end? Number four, what your father do? What do you know? What do what what does 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 your father do? Okay. Number five. Who, Who do you see do you in the do you see? In the form. In the form. Okay, number six. How many? How many do you Dance. have? How many cousins? How many cousins do How you many cousins? Do you have? Do you have? Do you have? Hmm? Oof, I have like 28 cousins. Okay, number seven. 28. It's true. <laughs> two ends. Two ends. Have seven, seven children each. So there I have 14 cousins. And then the others, there are a lot. <laughs> okay, so number seven. Why? Uh, do you? Why do you get up? Get up. Get up early, early on, on Sundays. Sundays. Te levantas tan temprano? On Sundays. On, on Sundays. I don't know. Okay, which which how can we do you? Which kind of food do you prefer? What sorry, prefer. which which kind of food do you prefer? Which kind of food do you prefer? What, what is kind of, of food? Kind. Kind means type. Es como, ¿qué tipo de comida? ¿Qué tipo? What kind of food? 
or what type of food. Okay? ¿Qué tipo what, significa eso, teacher? Yes. What kind of music do you listen? What kind of uh, movies do you like to watch? Number what nine. sports does what she play? What is sport? What is sport does she play? Exactly. She is a used person. And finally, where? She's trying to go. Yes, where? Where does? Exactly. Where does this train go? Train. Then we we'll finish. Check our answers. Oh, here I forgot to put it up. Why do you get up? I ate the up. Me comí el up because I am hungry too. <laughs> I didn't notice. Okay, I couldn't have lunch either this afternoon, but you know is why do you get up, okay, early on Sundays? Okay, very nice, thank you. So remember the structure for WH question is, WH question, the auxiliary, do gas, then? Subject. Then the subject, and finally, supplement. The verb. Bear. Bear. The verb in the base form and the complement. Exactly. Thank you so much. Let's continue with the class. Solo me indican cuando la puedan ver. Okay, can you see my presentation? Yes, yes I yes, see. Yes. yes, I see. I see. Si les pregunto, can you see? La respuesta sería, yes, I can. Or yes, we can. Okay? Yes, I can. Ajá, porque les pregunté con can. Si les pregunto con do, me van a responder con do, por ejemplo. Do you see the presentation? Yes. Yes, I do. do. Exactly. Very nice. Si les pregunto, does Mayra see the presentation? Yes, he. She yes. Does. She does. She does. She does. I said, does she? she does. Okay. What is the topic? House and apartment vocabulary. Can you tell me what are the parts of the house? What are the parts of the house? The bedroom. Okay, bedroom. Living room. The living room, exactly. Kitchen. Dining room. Dining room. Garage. 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 Bathroom. Yes, that's very important, the bathroom. <laughs> Okay, and we can mention other things, for example, the laundry room where you can wash your clothes. Mm -hmm. Well, you have, if your, house, if your house has a second floor, you need some stairs, some stairs, okay, the stairs. Some houses have a yard, mm -hmm. have a yard mm -hmm. or garden. And also, it, well, this is house, okay? First floor, second floor, it depends, right? If you have a big house, you can even have a second floor. Now, apartment, what is the difference between a house and an apartment? What is the difference? Apartment, small, second floor? Thank you, Ninian. So the apartment is a small, exactly. And it's part of an apartment building. So the apartment has only one bedroom, the closest. Uh, more floors, floors. Okay, 
in the apartment buildings, yes, there are small apartments in a big building, many floors, first, second, third, or fifth floor. But in, the, in some apartments buildings have elevators. But in this case, the apartment has a living room, a dining room, a small kitchen, a closet, and only one bedroom in one bathroom, right? And the lobby, it's very small. Okay, so tell me, is your hat, do you live in a house or in an apartment? Opinions, comments, participations? I live in a house. Daniel? I live in a house. Jonathan lives in a house. Jacqueline? Hello? Do you live in a house or in an apartment? Live in a house. You live in a house. Okay, very nice. Another question. How many, how many bedrooms does your house have? How many bedrooms uh, does your house have? Two bedrooms. Okay, Jacqueline's house has three bedrooms, okay? My house has four bedrooms. Wow, that's a very, uh, that's a mansion, Jancy. <laughs> okay, Jancy house, Jancy's house has four bedrooms. Maybe you can rent one bedroom. <laughs> okay, thank you. Does your house have a garage? Does your house have a garage? My house have a garage. Your house has a garage. Right? Has, has, of has. Okay. Excellent. Does your house has a jar? A jar or a garden? Yes. Okay, Daniel. Very nice. Great. Let's continue. That is the vocabulary. Now, I am going to share with you this. There is a board. And in this board, uh, you, you can participate. You can write. I am going to write here some parts of the house. And maybe you can try if you can write the different things we have in these uh, parts of the house. For example, in the bedroom, what objects do we have in the bedroom? Bed. Okay, the bed, the eye is very important, right? <laughs> mm -hmm. Can closet. You... Okay, you have a closet. I don't know if you can, can you participate? Can you write in the, in the board? Mirror. A mirror, okay. Mm -hmm. No sé si pueden escribir ustedes en, el, en la pizarra. Dice que no, no, lo, no, no lo está permitiendo. Está en clase todavía. Ok. Yeah. Ok, thank you. I, I thought you could. Ok, anyways. You were telling me eh, the different things that... Ok, in the bedroom you said the bed, you said mirror... You said closet. What else did you say? Tell me the things you have in your bedroom. Uh, alarm. Okay. Uh, Portain. Table. Portain? table. Ay, ¿Cómo se dice mesa de noche? Night. Night table. Night uh, te television. Okay, you can have a TV. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Wait, no. ¿Cómo, se, cómo, ¿Cómo se dice zapatera? 
a shoe stand. Shoe. Uh, yeah. A pilot. Freezer. Pilot. Ah, pillows. Ah, pillow, no, pillows. 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 Okay, now tell me things in the bathroom. Shower. Okay, a shower. What else? Curtain. Okay, shower curtain. What else? ¿Cómo se dice alfombra? How do you Okay. Uh, you can have um well we have two. It can be a carpet or a rug. I think in the bathroom we mo I think we have rugs. Okay. So okay, how on soap. Soap and shampoo. And also very important, don't forget toilet paper. What do you say, lavamanos? That is a sink. Sink? A sink. Okay. Exactly. Sink. Lavadora. También entraría. Ah, that mm. is in the laundry room. In the laundry mm. room. Okay? Mm -hmm. yeah. I have pasta, say pasta de dientes. Ah, toothpaste. 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 Pasta de toothpaste de and toothbrush, right? The toothbrush. Okay. Now, in the dining room, what objects do you have in the dining room? This is where you eat with your family. Sometimes in our country, because the houses are very small, the dining room is the same as the living room. But if your house is big, you may have a big room for the dining room. And what do you have in the dining room? Table. Chairs. Yes, maybe you can have a kitchen cabinet, right? Un chinero, or kitchen cabinet. Uh, you can also have, what else? Dishes. Mm -hmm. What about in the kitchen? There are many things in the kitchen. Uh -huh. uh, we have a lot of women in the class that they cook. Stove. Exactly, the most important oh. stove. Refrigerator. 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 Microwave. No sé cómo se dice microwave. Microwave. Ah. Okay. Yes, you can also have a small oven. And what do you need to make your milkshake? Horno, ¿cómo se dice? Licuadora. No, licuadora. Uh, oh well. No, I don't, I don't know. It's a blender. Blender. We also have some kitchen cabinets. Put. Oven. Put. Oh yes. Ah, pots exactly. Pots and pans. It's important to have a frying pan. Plate. Okay. Plates or dishes, right? Very. Okay. Okay. In the living room, what do you have in the living room? The most Sofa. important. Sofa. 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 TV. Ah, for the Nian, the TV is the most important. Picture. Sofa, <laughs> TV, art. Picture. Okay, you have pictures. Libre. I'm sorry, I couldn't hear you. Telephone. Okay, the telephone. Mirror. Mirror, okay. Also, TV is. Okay. Video games. <laughs> okay, video games. You can also have a coffee table. 
right? Mm. Okay, have some flowers for decoration. Okay. Uh, un jarrón. <laughs> okay, and finally, we have here the jar. What things can we find in the jar? Flowers. Flowers. Flowers and plants. Flowers. Trees. Trees. Uh -huh. Posters. Can you repeat, please? Hoses? Yeah, manguera. manguera, hose, exactly. You can also find there... Um... Mm -hmm. Toys. <laughs> okay. los... Toys. O los mascotas de un sol. Okay. I have a much lizards. Oh, you have a lot of geckos. <laughs> Also, we can find a rake. This rat. No. <laughs> a rake is what you use. No se le entiende, coach, nada le, le he entendido. Hoy sí, ya parecer había un micrófono encendido, pero no le entendimos nada. Ok, those are the different objects and things that you can find in a house. Ok, next continue. We have, yes, you can see here, right, the different things. Now, this is like separate and you can repeat after me. Don't, don't open your microphone. I just want to see your faces that you are repeating, but don't open your microphone, okay? Do it at home. <laughs> okay, so we have house, living room, bedroom, kitchen, dining room, bathroom, garden, Es jardín. Backyard es el, pa el patio, usualmente atrás. Backyard, door, window, balcony, the attic, we don't usually have it in El Salvador, but the attic, the roof, right? The roof, and a chimney, but we don't have chimneys here, the chimney. Now, activity number three, describe your house. So in this moment, you are going to write your, a description of your house. This is an example. My house has, because it's it, right? My house has three bedrooms, two living rooms, two bathrooms, one kitchen, one dining room, a garden, and a garage. In one living room, there are two armchairs, a bookcase, a clock, and a flower vase. In the kitchen, there is a stove, a refrigerator, a coffee maker, una, una, a cafetera, coffee maker, a microwave, a kitchen cabinet, a sink, and a blender. Okay, so this is the example. Please describe your house and use there is and there are. There is and there are, okay? So I will give you some time for you to write a description of your house. Please, you will have seven minutes. Seven minutes or, or five minutes. I think you can do it in five minutes to write a description of your house. Any questions? No? Okay, but uh, there are more. In the bathroom, there is a toilet, a mirror, soap, shampoo, toilet paper, a towel, okay, to dry myself, a sink and a toothbrush, okay? 
In the bedroom, there is a bed, a night table, a lamp, a closet or a wardrobe, a dresser, which is like a cabinet for, for your clothes, a shoe stand, and a fan, because in Salvador, sometimes it's very hot. You need a fan, so you're gonna sleep. So this is my example. It's now your turn to describe your house, okay? Van a escribir una descripción de su casa.
Okay, guys. So I would like to know if you're about to finish, if you're finished. Oh, Jonathan is finished. It says, he says, my house, H O, Jonathan, H O U S E. My house has four bedrooms, one living room, two bathrooms, one kitchen, one dining room, the stairs to go to the second floor to go. And finally, it has one garage. All bedrooms have beds and closets. The living room has a TV and video games to play. Wow, that is very nice. <laughs> you live in the paradise Jonathan, with the video games. <laughs> okay, I would like another volunteer that would like to share the description of their house. Orally. Volunteers, remember participation is very important in the class so you can learn more and you can practice. Um, okay, Jocelyn. My house has two bedrooms, one living room, one bathroom, one kitchen, one dining room. Uh, igual se dice para lo de garden y garage. Si solo hay uno y uno. One garage, one, one garden, and one garage. Can you describe your living room? The living room. Yeah. Um, there is a telephone, mirror, sofa, TV, and table. That is okay. Thank you, Jocelyn. Now, Victoria. In my in my house, I have a living room, one archive, clock, okay, and corner. In my kitchen, I have so refrigerator, a coffee maker, and blender. In my bathroom, I have a toilet, a mirror, soap, shampoo, toilet, toilet paper, and teeth brush. In my bedroom, I have a night table. Hasta ahí va. Okay, Victoria. <laughs> yes, remember that when we want to say las cosas que hay, usamos there is and there are. Okay? Uh -huh. in, for example, you can say in my bedroom, there is a bed, there is a night table, there is a mirror. Okay, in the bathroom, okay. there okay. is toilet paper, there is shampoo, exactly. Use there is and there are. Uh, I have two more messages here. Tell me, Jacqueline. Okay, remember, patio. How do you say patio in English? Yeah. Uh, but yard. Yard, yard, yard. Backyard. That you can have a front yard or a backyard, okay? Si es atrás, backyard. Okay. If it's in front of your house, front yard, okay? Front yard. Yes, very good. Y la cerca, o aquí le decimos, ¿cómo le decimos aquí? Que divide. Ba ba barandas, no sé. ¿Muro? No, no, no. Muro. El cerco, it's fence, mm -hmm. okay? Fence. Fence. Yes, aquí lo puso Delmi. Fence. Okay, somebody else would like to share? Ese fence es el cerco que te estaba diciendo. Yes. Después de uh, patio y fence and bedroom. Exactly. Okay, one more volunteer. Volunteer or victim? <laughs> Catherine? Okay. My house has one bathroom, one kitchen, one bedroom, one living room, and a small garden. In the bathroom, there is a toilet, a soap, a shampoo, 
a condi condi con condition 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 okay <laughs> uh, thing and toilet toilet paper uh, in the kitchen uh, there is a microwave uh, a air fryer i oven a panty and washing machine a washing machine pardon yes lavadora washing machine yes ahí lo tengo okay <laughs> then factory uh -huh. for participation very good guys i hope that you can finish your your description of your house okay um it was very good to hear about your houses now um i would like you oh let me share the screen please give me a moment, give me a moment, okay okay now it's time for the wrap up and you can use these uh, structures you can say today i learned about my favorite activity was and i'm going to practice this topic okay so i need three volunteers mm -hmm. Volunteers. Checha. Okay, please. I learned the routine, schedule, schedule, special, excuse me, special. special. Okay, special. 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 Yeah. Thank you, Daniel. Uh, I learned in, uh, about my house, the place. The different parts of the and Different house. parts, different parts. My house, uh, bedroom, there are, there is, etc. Thank you. Okay, somebody else can tell me what was your favorite activity? What was your favorite activity in this class? My favorite activity was uh, there is there are. Okay, thank you, Daniel. And someone else, uh, what are you going to practice? ¿Qué va a practicar después de esta clase? What are you going to practice, Jose Vidal? Mama. I'm going to practice uh, new vocabulary. For example, describe my house. Exactly. Now, the homework is this. You are going to be a tourist in your house. You will go around your house and you will think, oh, this is the door. Uh, this is the window. These are curtains. This is a refrigerator. When you open the refrigerator, when you are cooking, think of, think of how do you say that object in English, okay? When you go to the bathroom, you can take a look at the bathroom and think about the different objects in English, okay? In your bathroom, in your kitchen, in your living room, in your bathroom, in the laundry room, etc. okay? And please continue working in the platform. And also remember that today is the last day to send the... Uh, the proof, right, or a picture of that you have received the manual, that you have received the book. No olviden enviar el comprobante, mándense la flor. Sánchez, eh, la fotito, ¿verdad? Firmado con su nombre que recibió el manual de estudio. Okay? Bueno, it was a pleasure to see you today. I hope to see you tomorrow. Have a nice have a nice afternoon. Bye. 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 Bye.